by Abdul Rahman al okaimi and Abbas al fakih Hokas, Saudi Gazeta Jetta, a member of the Saudi Economic Association, C, has said the Red Sea project will create 35,000 job opportunities, attract a million visitors annually and put the kingdom on the international tourism map whereas the Amala project will create over 22,000 job opportunities. The Red Sea project will also reduce unemployment significantly as it falls in line with Vision 2030, said Dr. Abdullah Al-Magluth while speaking to OKAZ, Saudi Gazette. He said the two projects were located alongside the Red Sea coast in the northwest of the kingdom but the difference between the two lies in the fact that the former focuses on developing exceptional tourist resorts on over 50 natural islands situated between al Waj and UMLUJ cities while the latter, also called the Riviera of the Middle East, invents a new concept for fancy and luxurious tourism focusing on recuperation, wellness and recreation as per international standards. Amala is the new luxurious tourist destination, which will also stimulate economic growth and diversify the tourism industry in line with Vision 2030 while preserving cultural values and sustainable environment. Most of the job opportunities will be in hospitality, tourism and entertainment sectors in addition to construction sector jobs. It will be an important domestic and foreign investment drive, said Al Magluth. Tabuk University President Dr. Abdullah al Yabi said Amal, Red Sea and Neom projects will help the kingdom open to world's cultures and civilizations because they enjoy a strategic location that connects several continents with one another. Hmm. Al Governor Khalid al Qurisi said the region had seen unprecedented rise in the number of international projects, which are funded by the Public Investment Fund. The returns will be huge economically and socially, he said, less than previous page next page greater than.